So this is an illustration for an event that myself and some colleagues ran for some school children in Gothenburg as part of the Veterans Tech Festival on Monday, um, where we were tasked with teaching children between the ages of 8 and 12 about infection and transmission. It's not a natural subject that falls within that curriculum. It's perhaps considered something that's more suitable for an older age group, but we said actually no, it's very easy to develop a package that is visual and engaging. So what did we do? We dressed the zombies. <laughs> um, so the idea was there's a zombie outbreak in Gothenburg, and we are a group of half zombie scientists trying to work up a, an antidote. However, we've identified that we think it's a microbe that's transmitting the zombie disease. And in order to prevent spread, we've looked at hands. And we think they're the most important mechanism of transmission. So what you see on the right side of the screen is a number of plates. And those plates are actually outside as part of the exhibit where we've taken swabs. So we've got some sterile water, we've taken cotton swabs, and we've swabbed lots of different surfaces. So we did 10 intakes all listed on the right. So I've drawn the most interesting surface that we swabbed, which was actually the microwave in our staff kitchen, um, which grew an interesting number of, <laughs> interesting number of bugs. But we plate it on a medium plate. We wait for 72 hours. Uh, incubating at 37 degrees, and then what you see there is uh, we try to conceptualize the replicating bacteria within that plate. One, uh, so imagining a reproduction rate of two. So one becomes two, two becomes four, four becomes eight. In 20 steps, you reach a million microbes. And then you can visualize the plates, and it's actually a very firm exercise trying to match the plates with the samples that have been swabbed. I encourage you to do so. So these are different plates that we generated from this exercise. And the children really took to it. They worked with microscopes and they visualized in, in greater magnification. And then they engaged in an artistic project where they were using their hands to paint uh, various uh, different things, whether it was the infections, zombies. Uh, but the aim was to get them to visualize their hands as being important methods of transmission. And obviously they had to wash their hands after.